Hello, all my teacher, crafty, and planner friends. This is Mariposa, hoping that you are all doing well and coming to you today with a Target organization storage haul. Um, this haul is specifically going to be focused on things from the teacher perspective, things that I picked up to get ready for next school year. All right, so let's dive in and see what I got. So one of the things that I picked up were these two, two, I got one in lime green and one in red. And Target is calling them, whoops, uh, and they roll, wire mesh supply caddies. I was seriously contemplating using these instead of these <laughs> over here to put on the student desks and then I examined a couple of them closely and noticed that um, you know the mesh was tearing away from this top part and I said mm, don't think that's going to be durable enough um, if you teach you know what I'm talking about it's all about at least getting it to last to April so <laughs> so I'm actually thinking this might help me organize my teacher class um, uh, closet so we'll probably use that in that way or you know to organize supplies off to the count uh, to the side but not things directly used by the children okay so the next thing that i want to focus on are these uh two purple and soft green bins um target is calling these plastic bins um there's the item number these were three each and these will probably be used for book storage. These are classics. Everybody knows these. I don't think I've ever had them, though, in this color. So I'm psyched about that. And I picked up six. And um, here is the... Um, I think that's called the Isbin number. I think so. And these are each three plastic caddies. Oh, by the way, um, let's see. Here is the number for this one, and these are each five. And let's see, I was did not find this. So the containers that I've showed you so far, I'll I found in the dollar spot. These things I found in another location, but I was psyched as organization in my classroom, especially organization of my stuff. Organizing the children's stuff is fine, but you know my stuff gets out of control at various points so I found this hanging by pocket pocket organizer I like the metallic um, detail and there's five pockets there's labels that are included um, there uh, I mean you can I have to figure out a way to mount it but I'm psyched to use these for organizing um, original copies you know like the originals of my copy so whatever I want to copy make copies of on Monday goes in here um, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday that's what I'm thinking um, it could also be for things that I need to file so stuff that I got on Monday let's say it's a staff meeting could go in there I think that's gonna be super helpful the other thing that I found because somehow or another I used to have two of these one like half one gigantic one and I'm talking about a dry erase board don't know where those went of course I've also moved schools a couple of times in the last couple of years so that might be why um, but these are you know like paper dry erase boards and I like these because I'm supposed to have kindergarten so the babies you know I won't be able to read but they definitely can see the pictures right so if they see the school bus they'll know that it's a trip day um, we can talk about how this is science so we have art. I just like, you know, they're big. Um, <laughs> this will probably be for me. This they can get. Um, and quizzes. So, I, you know, because of the size of it, I thought it would be helpful even down to kindergarten. So these are double-sided five dry erase boards, boards and you can write on them and they give you some ideas with about how you can use them I see that there's some vinyl clings to customize so we'll have to explore that okay and then the next thing that I picked up oh sorry hold on that 
was, I don't remember actually, but here's the Isbin number. I don't remember how much that was. And here's the Isbin number to the second, to the pockets. Okay. Um, I've been, I was really excited about this. So these are the dry erase pockets. And um, I grabbed this, I wanted a class set of 25. They come in all these different shades. So there's yellow, there's this fuchsia purple, lime green, light blue. So very excited about these. I was only able to get my hands on 21, but um, I plan on getting a class set. Because I know this year, when we worked on handwriting in particular, or just practicing um, automaticity with numbers, that was super helpful. Um, like, I don't necessarily need to have an exit ticket, or I don't necessarily need to have evidence that the kids did it for... <laughs> For myself because I walk around and I'm, I'm observing them in the process and then kind of keeping notes about who got it and who didn't and then kind of forming my groups. I really really like doing that but I'll share more about that later. And of course I had to pick up, I thought these were adorable, um, simple but adorable, some name tags. These were each a dollar um, and I'm gonna have to go back and get um, there's the Isbin number, and I'm going to have to go back and get another pack. I have two of those because I realize I use them for nameplates at the beginning of the year. And also just for kindergarten, that's your curriculum for September, essentially. My name and everything about it. And um, also for um, just a, a cubby labeling. Oh my goodness, so important. The, the more they see their name, the better things run and then last but second to last I got purchased six of these not really sure what my color scheme is going to be so I'm kind of you know I just kind of bought something in in different multiple of each item in different colors uh, there's the Isbin and DPCI number and these were each three Okay, and I'm going to be right back with the last item. I also picked up this set of 24 count nameplates. They were each a dollar. And I use them at the beginning of the year, not just to help myself learn my student's name, which is super important, and for them to learn each other's names, but in kindergarten for letter and sound recognition and development, um, you know, just uh, um, labeling their desks and also labeling their cubbies. The next item that I'm going to be sharing, I plan to use on my in my writing center, and I will use these to store the various types of papers that I'm going to allow the children to use, um, as I am big and committed to giving them lots of paper choice. So I've purchased six of these plastic trays, again in varied colors. And here is the DPCI number. Okay, and lastly, for now, I purchased nine of these. Here's the range of colors. I really like the color selection that Target has because if you're unsure for me about your um, I don't know what that was. I must be packaging stuff, but it was all over some of them. If you're not sure about your color scheme or your theme for the year, you haven't chosen that, you're bound to get things that will match. These are connectable um, holders. They were $3. There's the DCPI number and the ISMIN number. I don't know why that's not focusing. Sorry. There we go. Um... And I have been wanting these for years. I plan to use them in one of two ways. I'd love to get um, my hands on 24 to 25 of them. I'm not sure that that's going to happen just because of supply. This was going to two different Target stores, one massive one and one smaller one, my local one. And it was pulling teeth just to find this stuff. Um, so this is either going to be for math groups or 
and math, sorry, math um, games and activities and or reading buddy bins. I mean, I could, you know, so, because I think I'm, I'm, the, I'm being ambitious trying to get my hands on a class set of them. So I will probably just have to settle for half that. So I can get, if I can get to 12 or 13, I'll be happy. And then I can rotate them out. Okay, so as always, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you found this video valuable. And um, please come back for more. Take care now. Bye.